Yes. This is, there's a lot of misinformation about that about independent parties and it's rhetoric spread by the two parties in power. Vote blue or vote red or you're voting for the enemy. And <laughs> we're like, oh, that's, that's, we think that the Republicans are talking about the Democrats or the Democrats are talking about the Republicans. No, they're talking about third party. We are their enemy because we would dismantle what they've built. And they don't like that. But our brains, we automatically think of the two party system because growing up, you're not taught that there's more than two parties. You're not taught that there's more options at the time of elections. And then when you are taught about it, you're pressured into voting for the lesser of two evils and your vote is essentially taken away. When in reality, if we would just band together, we could easily change the face of our government. And people are primarily concerned about the electoral college because they said you need representation. How can you do that if you're not part of a major party? Well, I get my own electoral representatives. In Oregon, I get eight. In California, I get 20. I have to nominate them. They have to fill out paperwork under my name to go and represent me in the electoral college. And I get that in every single state. Mm. So I have representation in the, in the electoral college. And I didn't even know that until I started running for president. Mm. I was like, how am I going to have equal footing with the electoral college? doing research i'm like oh my elections office in oregon told me yeah before you can collect signatures to get on the ballot you need electors i'm like for the electoral college she's like yeah i'm like i get representation in the electoral college so it's not information that's readily available which is another thing i'm going to be using my campaign for is teaching people how to run how to access this information that it is possible for you to run it's possible for me to run the constitution made it possible and so for each state, some of them, we have to pay a filing fee. Some of them, we have to get a certain amount of signatures. In Oregon, I need just over 20,000 signatures after I get my electors chosen. And I have to file those signatures and then I'm on the ballot. Um, Oklahoma, I think it's $100,000 to get on the ballot, which is no way should it be that much for anybody to be on a ballot. That's not a, a fair election in any way, shape or form. Um, as an independent candidate, I have to go to each state and do this myself. Whereas when you're a Democrat or a Republican, part of a major party, your party automatically gets you on those ballots in some states. They still have to collect signatures in some states, but a lot of the states, they're just on the ballot already because they're the party nominee. That's not free and fair either. Mm -hmm. And then funding through the FEC is also based off of party if you're the Democratic Party nomination for 2024, you get access to a grant through the FEC, and it's a $108 million grant. It has not been taken by anybody since 2008, but because I'm not a part of a major party or even a minor party, I don't have access to that. Mm. 